I hear breaking contacts will lead to better impression taking and clearer margins for the ceramist. That is the question today with webinar questions answered. I'm Dr. Stephen Fallon. This question is from my veneer prep webinar. This is from Dr. Choi. Hi, Dr. Fallon, wonderful lecture. Just one question. I heard breaking contacts will allow better impression taking as the margins will appear clearer for the lab technician. What are your thoughts on this? And I know where this comes from. It's basically during the veneer webinar, I, I state and I show uh, that wherever possible, I'd prefer not to break the contacts on the teeth that I'm preparing for veneers. And the reason for that is we want to preserve as much enamel and preserve as much of the intact tooth structure as possible because we want the patient to have this intact tooth for the rest of their life. And when you break contacts, you're removing a huge volume of tooth structure that's maybe not necessary. There are some cases where we have to, you know, if there's interproximal caries, interproximal restorations that we want to um, cover with the veneers, or um, even where you want to change the proportions of the teeth, the width proportions of the teeth, you'll have to break the contacts likely for that. Um, but in many cases, I don't need to break the contacts. And when I don't need to, I basically don't. And do we get good impressions? Yes, we do. Um, but there's two specific things that we do to allow this and allow the, pay, the ceramics to be able to create precise dyes to do the uh, restorations. Uh, one is I prep the margin when I'm not breaking contact short of the contact. So I don't break it, I don't prep the margin right into the contact, then it's going to be very hard for the dye to be created and separated from the two teeth where the margin goes right into the contact. I prep it just short, you know, really fractionally short, so that when the dyes are separated, there's a margin there. So I prep it just short of the breaking the contact or into the contact, so short of the contact on the facial. And then the other thing that I do to help with the impression taking and precision of the impression and separating of the dyes when the contacts aren't broken in the, um, in, the, uh, in the case is I do a very light stripping with a yellow diamond strip. Now yellow is the least abrasive, so I'm not breaking the contact with the yellow diamond strip, I'm just cleaning it out. You know, there might be organic debris in there, different things. Um, just gives a more precise impression of the contact when it's clean like that, and it allows my ceramist herald to go in there and separate the dyes when I haven't actually separated the contacts. So those are the two tips. Uh, number one, um, basically don't go all the way into the contact, leave it short, very small amount, maybe quarter millimeter. Make sure you have a precise margin short of the contact, then it'll be easy for the ceramist to manage a case like this. And number two, just strip it a little bit with a yellow diamond strip. I don't even use a red or a blue. A blue would probably open the contact right up. So I use a yellow, it's not going to open up the contact, it's just cleaning it. So those are the two tips. Thank you for uh, watching this video. If you'd like to attend my veneer prep webinar, uh, the link should be below this video. If you're seeing this video where there's no link below, uh, here's the link. So there's the link, you can type that in and you can register for this webinar while it's still available. So thank you very much and we'll talk to you soon. Take care.